Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Climatology, Paleoclimatology. Um, in this video, this is basically part two of my summary of what uh, James Hansen's uh, latest paper. Um, let me go up to the top here, um, if I can find this. Okay, so this is his paper, Young People's Burden, Requirement of Negative CO2 Emissions, with a whole bunch of authors talking about how we need, we absolutely need negative CO2 emissions to stabilize our climate and to have a fighting chance to um, restore harmony, make, keep our planet survivable, basically. So uh, this is part two. So this is where we left off. So this is showing the increase of global fossil fuel CO2 emissions here, um, gigatons per year. Um, this is how much stays in the atmosphere each year. So there is fluctuation from year to year, you know, as the sinks um, vary in capacity, as the ocean absorbs various amounts. This is a seven year mean, running mean, to smooth this data. And what you can see is roughly 50% um, of the CO2 uh, remains in the air. So the rest is going into the oceans, it's going into the boreal forest in the northern hemisphere, the taiga, um, the, the, uh, uh, it's going into uh, the phytoplankton in the ocean, uh, etc. And then there's many, many sources from, you know, which are getting higher as the earth is heating up from our anthropogenic human caused warming. Okay, so let's move on. So methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. Global warming potential 34 times on a hundred year time scale. Media is still always quoting this number wrong. The last IPCC report talks about 34 times. It's not 20 or 22 or 24 or about 20, okay? Those are wrong numbers. I did a whole video on this. How come the media can still screw, still screws this up? Anyway, um, 34 times on a 100-year time scale. Average over 20 years, it's 86 times more powerful than CO2 on a weight molecule weight basis. Um, and on a short time scale of a few years, like it's affecting the Arctic, it's almost 200 times, over 150 times more stronger. So that's the global warming potential, it's huge. So the Arctic is warming like crazy, it's another feedback. So we had 11.6 parts per billion per year rise, then it's leveled off to 2.8, went pretty flat here, and now it's on the rise again, and it's rising faster and faster. And 2007 was the uptick, and this is, you know, is more wetlands, right? More rainfall, less snowfall, um, more thawing of uh, permafrost and tundra in the Arctic. Um, all this fracking, which releases huge amounts of methane from leakages. Methane is basically natural gas, or natural gas is basically methane, about 90% methane, plus a few other things thrown in. So methane is, is a problem. Okay, so going down, this is the greenhouse gas effective forcing growth rate. So we've got IPCC, uh, AR3, assessment report three and four shown here using these different scenarios. Um, this is where we are right now, and these are the scenarios. And the latest AR5 report, they use these representative concentration pathways at 2.6 watts per square meter. 4.5 watts per square meter. This is where we are now. We're tracking 8.5 um, up here. So we have to bend this curve down. We don't have any choice. Um, fossil fuel CO2 emissions. This is where we are. Now what this is showing is this is, um, if we get constant emissions up to 2020 and then as in the emissions increase or decrease, um, this is what we see here, and these are the RCP scenarios shown here. Um, so we're heading up here. We have to uh, bend the curve um, down, downwards and remove 
have these negative emissions and remove CO2 from the atmosphere. These are the RCP scenarios, um, which assume that this is done. They don't explicitly say, but they, you know, it's, it's, uh, they don't implicitly say, but explicitly it's definitely required. Okay, um, this is showing uh, again a similar thing with, this is the CO2 rise in parts per million um, over time. And we have, this is our present increases. This is if we held it constant, we're still gonna get warming. This is why we have to reduce. You know, this is 3% per year decrease, 6% per year decrease. Um, um, and this is with CO2 extraction. So we need to, to bend these curves down by extracting CO2. If our emissions still are this high, we need to remove CO2 to um, maintain a viable Earth ecosystem that will support all life, including us. Okay, so these curves are now showing forcings. This is without CO2 extraction, and this is with CO2 extraction. So it's similar to the other curve. It also shows that the variation of forcing from the solar cycle, you know, small fluctuation, 0.1% in, um, in forcings. And then this is the dust in the, the, the this is the SO2 from volcanoes, large volcanoes that eject sulfur up into the stratosphere and take a few years to um, settle out by gravity and then wash out once they're in the lower atmosphere. So that's these areas. This is the net forcings without CO2 extraction when you include all of these drops here from volcanic stuff. And this is the um, forcing um, when we have CO2 extraction. So we don't have any choice. We can't live in a world like this. You know, it's doubtful that civilization would survive a temperature rise of three degrees, three and a half degrees, let alone the, you know, the seven, eight we're talking about by 2100 with business as usual. Business as usual is just, it's a, it's a death sentence, basically. Just doing a time check, about halfway. Okay. So, we don't have a choice, any choice. We're gonna lose the uh, ocean marine life as well, which isn't really discussed in this paper, or I haven't seen it yet. It's just, you know, the, the, the evil twin of, of climate change. You know, it's too bad some humans didn't live in the oceans because, you know, breathe the water, you know, get oxygen out of the water you know, have gills and, you know, then, and, and have a, a, a say on, you know, political panels, etc. you know, then we would treat the oceans with a bit more respect. But, you know, we let the oceans die, we're going down with them too, all of life on the planet. Okay, so this is um, comparing methane under the different scenarios and N2O under the different scenarios. So these gases um, cannot <coughs> be ignored. <coughs> a lot of N2O is from poor farming practices, fertilization practices, um, tilling fields, etc. We can do a lot better. Also, industrial processes. You know, the methane, um, the big sink of methane is water. Um, water in the atmosphere that's, that's um, broken apart the hydrogen's pulled off, you have OH minus, that's the scavenger that cleans up the, the atmosphere. And there's not much of it in the Arctic, unfortunately, because the Arctic has little, little water vapor because it's cold. So the, sea, the methane um, has to migrate out of the Arctic in order to be reduced in concentration. Now, now so here's, here's some more details. Um, this is the global fossil fuel CO2 annual emissions, gigatons of carbon per year on a logarithmic scale from 1850 to now. So you see this curve here. Um, these are the slopes. We've got 4.6% rise per year, uh, leveling off a bit here, increase here, 
leveling off a bit and increase again. So we're talking about 2.6% a year, it's just way too high. This is the sources of these emissions. Um, there's, it's mostly, you know, from burning coal, which is finally tapering off. We gotta get rid of coal, we gotta get rid of that wedge. Oil's next, gas will be after that and we've got to bring this whole curve down. Cement and flaring, we're still going to have some stuff going on, but we've got to um, minimize that, that. And this is just comparing a couple different models. Um, you know, uh, an older model, a newer model, to see what happens with global temperature. And this is also comparing um, surface temperature anomalies and a couple different models, but from past years to try to figure out what best um, replicates the past and hopefully will then predict the future. This is showing the solar irradiance changes um, and the sunspot number is counted. So when there's a lot of sunspots, the sun's putting out slightly more energy. When there's few sunspots, less energy. This is only a very small forcing, 0.25 watts per square meter, um, which is uh, much smaller than the um, <coughs> than, than uh, our fossil fuel warming, the full amplitude of measured solar variability. That's about 10% of 2.5 in that. I thought it was, I thought it was an order of magnitude lower, but it was even, uh, you know, 0.1%. But anyway, I have to check that. I'm sure that Hansen's correct. I don't, I don't, I don't think so, but anyway. Um, global surface temperature is just some more um, simulations and total greenhouse gas forcing growth rate. So that's basically the paper. So this is a very uh, classic uh, paper. I apologize for the background noise. It's a fan going off. So again, when you're reading a paper, Look at, the, look at the abstract, you know, read the title, titles are well chosen, negative CO2 emissions required. Read the abstract, look at the pictures, read the conclusion, you know, you can get the gist of the paper. It's a little lazy, you know, there's, there's way too much stuff, you can't read it all. So this is sort of the lazy way to do it. So once again, you know, climate change is a matter of life and death. You know, it's as simple as that. It's not just our death. You know, it's, it's not just the death of, of plants and, and uh, flora and fauna. You know, we tend to, we are part, hey, you know what? We're part of the fauna. We're part of the animals. People, humans forget that. We think there's something special about us. Um, and uh, there's not. I mean, we can tumble and this is where we're heading. We're heading to, uh, to uh, complete, collapse of civilization look this this is sorry i can't have cheerier oh by the way happy new year it's uh you know tomorrow is uh december 31st but anyway um you know we there's no point in getting depressed about this there's no point in getting worried you know we have to function and we have to do more and push harder and harder to ensure that we deal with these climate change issues before they completely deal with us and take us down thank you